So when you go to dispensary, this is the kit that you're going to get to assemble a Strahman torque wrench. You've got your long driver, your short driver, and then for the torque wrench itself, you've got three pieces that you're going to need to assemble, as seen here. So when making an impression, you're typically only going to need the implant driver to remove your healing abutment and then place your impression coping. Um, the torque wrench is typically only going to be used when delivering your final prosthesis. So you're going to take your ratchet and slide it into the barrel of the torque device uh, seen here. It should fit snugly in there. Um, you shouldn't see any kind of space. You know, if you turn it in sideways, there's a kind of a space here. You don't want to see that. So when you see that, you want to make sure it's nice and snug all around there. Then you're going to take that last piece and slide it into the opposite end and then kind of screw that all the way down. Um, and that should screw all the way into where that's flush with the torque device kind of barrel. Um, and at that point, you've assembled your torque wrench. The knob here has got an arrow on it, as you can see. To tighten the screw in your prosthesis, you're going to want to take this little knob and turn it to where that arrow is pointed towards your teardrop shaped bar here. So on the ratchet end, you should see a little knob sticking out here. Uh, this needs to be sticking out because if it doesn't, then you won't be able to engage the driver and then you won't be able to tighten the screw on your prosthesis. So that's the uh, assembly and proper use of a Strahman torque wrench for placing your implant.